Hey Dave, what's up man? It's Steve, how are you? Better than I deserve, what's up? Well, I wanted to see if I could share with my audience why you are stressless, especially in these times. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. Hey, by the way, here at Steve Invest, we talk personal finance, getting out of credit card debt, real estate investing, and uh, financial freedom. So if you like that content, you might want to consider subscribing. And also, give this a thumbs up if you uh, like this content. I appreciate the support. I did a similar video on why real estate mogul Ben Mala is stressed out. And the difference between that video and this video is at the end of the day, Ben is stressed out and Dave, I don't think he's very stressed due to his financial position. I'll put a link below for that other video as well so you guys can check that out. Now I did get some uh, private messages and some pushback on that video saying Ben is too big of an investor for the banks to allow him to fail. And you know, I agree to a certain extent on that, but it really doesn't go along with the content of the video or the title of the video in terms of being stressed or not stressed. Bottom line, when it comes to your emotional stability, when it comes to money, it doesn't matter if you're too big to fail. Look, investors who are heavily indebted during a black swan, a real estate recession, or even a depression are still going to be stressed out regardless because they're going to have to deal with their debt positions and in many cases they're going to have to reorganize. Anyway, Dave Ramsey is an incredible mentor. If you want to learn more about financial intelligence and getting out of debt and growing your personal wealth and financial freedom. I'll put a link below for his channel so you guys can check him out as well if you haven't already. Based on my research, Dave Ramsey's net worth is anywhere from 55 million to 200 million. Uh, due to a private company, it's kind of hard to tell, but that's just based on my research. But in any case, he is allegedly completely debt free. But it wasn't like that starting out for Dave. He had plenty of troubles due to accelerated debt positions that I'm going to talk more in detail about. At 26 years old, he had a real estate portfolio worth about $4 million and allegedly he had an equity position, a net worth of about a million dollars at the time. However, he lost it all through bankruptcy. Today, obviously, is a completely different story. He's incredibly wealthy and uh, has been helping a lot of people throughout decades to get them into a better financial position. So at the age of 18, he got his real estate license. He started selling real estate to make real estate commissions to pay for himself to go to college. And I believe his parents were in the real estate industry as well. So uh, he kind of followed their footsteps to get into the same, same line of work. As a real estate agent, you do have access to a lot of the open market as well as uh, properties that are not necessarily on the market. So we do see as real estate professionals a lot of good deals and uh, early on Dave Ramsey started flipping properties. Unfortunately, some of the debt obligations came due because he took uh, essentially short term loans, uh, I guess roughly between two and three million dollars worth. Uh, essentially one bank got bought out and the other bank saw him as maybe too risky. So they did call the loan after I believe a uh, six month period, maybe three to six months, but they are very short term loans that he was utilizing to grow his uh, real estate portfolio and flipping properties, which at the end of the day is, uh, is pretty stressful and uh, a little scary. He did pay some of his debt obligations, but he was too far underwater and had to declare bankruptcy. I don't know the complete details of what, what bankruptcy he filed or whatever the case was, but uh, in any case, he did have to kind of reset, reorganize, and start over. You see, many times people fail in life. They fail in business and they fail in so many different factors of their life and they get depressed and they bury their, their heads in the sand. But what I encourage people to do is accept it learn from it and utilize it as a, a way to grow from it. And Dave Ramsey did this, you know, he was down and out, but you know, he linked up with a guy to help grow a, uh, a radio show called The Money Game, which in turn was essentially the birth of what's now called The Ramsey Show. It's a wildly successful show and now he employs hundreds and hundreds of people, um, doesn't have any debt obligations with his business either. And, and in this kind of spotlight, it, it's amounted to um, streams of other businesses that branched off from it as well. So Dave Ramsey has done an incredible job from going from the bottom and rising up to the top and really has no stress in the process because of zero debt obligation. You know, $100 million net worth, debt-free, 
in my professional opinion, is a hell of a lot better than a hundred million dollars net worth, but a portfolio of 400 million, meaning you have a big debt position on it and at any point in time, the cards could fit a fall. So whether it's a black swan, a recession, a depression, whatever the case may be, there are several things that you need to have to have a foundation to back you guys up and I'm gonna go through those with you right now. The first thing is if you guys are gonna take debt on anything, make sure that it makes sense. I highly encourage you guys not to take debt on any kind of liabilities like cars or boats or whatever the case is, but make sure it makes sense. You know, I think that a debt position on anything that puts money into your pocket is a good thing like a rental property um, and also the home where you live on live in. I think it's a heck of a lot better to have home ownership than throwing your money away and rent um, and then eventually paying down that mortgage. So. Um, having a debt position on anything that makes sense and also don't over leverage. So if you can put as much money down on that property with the mindset of paying it off, I think you'll be in incredible shape to um, have, have the necessary foundation for you and your family. The next thing is it's okay to make mistakes. You're gonna make mistakes and that's part of life. Utilize your mistakes as a part of growing and if you're not making any mistakes it's probably because you're kind of stuck in a bubble and you're not really branching out and again this doesn't mean go and take a bunch of debt on something it just means that go and try new things try new ventures and and work on yourself and work on your career and work on a side hustle but you will make mistakes but the people that take mistakes and they bury their heads in the ground is is so unfortunate so make sure you take your mistakes and run with them what'd you learn from them you know you don't learn as much from successes than you do from mistakes so keep that in mind the next thing is if you made poor financial decisions it's okay most of us have i have for sure and i can tell you that with the right plan of action you can get out of debt you can get to a point of financial freedom and you can live a stress-free life as long as you guys are learning to go down the right path and working on it on a daily basis. The next thing is dig deep into financial freedom. Financial freedom is when your assets pay for your liabilities. An easy, quick way to understand this and do this is make sure that your liabilities, your personal liabilities, are as low as possible and then you don't need many assets to pay for those liabilities. So keep your liabilities as low as possible and you'll achieve financial freedom a hell of a lot faster. And the next thing is keep watching gurus like Dave Ramsey and other gurus that are out there on YouTube. It's free at the end of the day and continue to watch what's on this channel as well because we talk personal finance, getting out of credit card debt, uh, financial freedom and, and so much more in terms of getting yourself into a better position for you and your family. As always, I appreciate you guys watching this. If you guys are not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe if you guys like this type of content. And a thumbs up helps out tremendously with the YouTube algorithm. So I do appreciate all of your support.